All right, so as promised, today we are breaking down the full details for all eight summonable Extreme Z Awakenings we're getting on both Global and JP for this year's Dragon Ball Heroes collab. Specifically, we're talking about the STR Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku, the Fizz Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Vegeta, Tech Golden Cooler, Tech Great Saiyan Man 3, Tech Supreme Kai of Time, uh, Fizz Super Saiyan Cumber slash Giant Ape Cumber, STR... Cialis? Cialis? I'm not sure. This guy, and finally, the Int Super Fu. So, uh, with all that said, let's jump right into it, starting with the Super Saiyan 3s first, and usually, for these kinds of videos, I like to talk about the pre-EZA details and then the post-EZA details for comparison purposes, right? But since there's so many units to go through, we're only going to be talking about the EZA details here, okay? So, for the Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku, his leader skill is Dragon Ball Heroes category or STR types. Sorry, Super STR types. Key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage with a great chance of stunning the enemy. And his passive is reduces damage received by 15% for 3 turns from start of turn. Attack and defense plus 150% and guards all attacks. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack. Plus an additional defense plus 20% up to 100% and reduces damage received by up to by 7% up to 35% per Drag Mall Heroes category ally on the team. So, needless to say, this guy is going to be a very, very good defender. I mean, he's getting the 15% damage reduction here, up to an additional 35% damage reduction here. He's getting a lot of defense, and he's also getting guard against all attacks. So, yeah, just a really good defender. His Damage should be solid as well, but his defense is really where this guy's going to be shining. So, uh, yeah, great passive, and uh, everything else, of course, stays the same. As far as his stats go, after the Extreme Z Awakening, he's going to be getting up to 18,150 HP, 17,844 attack, and 10,602 defense at rainbow status. So that is the Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku. Next up, we have... The Fizz, Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Vegeta, Leader Skill, Dragon Ball Heroes, or Super Fizz Types, P plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 130%, Super Attack greatly raises Attack and Defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and greatly lowers defense, and Passive is launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a Super Attack for 3 turns from start of turn, Attack and Defense plus 150%, and disables enemy's guard, plus an additional attack and defense, plus 50% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack, plus 20%, up to 100%, and chance of performing a critical hit, plus 7%, up to 35%, per Drag Mall Heroes category ally on the team. So of course, this is a more offensive version of the Goku kit, and honestly, it's not as good, because I do usually favor defense over offense, so this guy's going to be hitting harder for sure, but defensively, he's not going to be nearly as good as the Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku. So in my opinion, between the two, I do think the Xeno Goku is better. But of course, you should be pairing up the two if you have an option to run both. And uh, they should make a very, very powerful rotation, right? So that is the Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Vegeta stats. Uh, 17,150 HP, 17,834 attack, and 10,810 defense. Uh, fully extreme the Awakened at rainbow status, right? So, moving on now, we have the Tech Golden Cooler Leader Skill Dragon Ball Heroes, or Extreme Tech Key Plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack raises attack, raises defense for one turn, and causes immense damage. So, basically, attack is stacked infinitely and defense only for one turn, unfortunately. Passive, attack and defense plus 130%, plus an additional defense plus 30% when performing a super attack, reduces damage received by 10% within the same turn with each super attack performed up to 30%, launches two additional attacks, each of which has a high chance of becoming a super attack when there are another three or more Dragon Ball Heroes category allies on the team, 
and then all allies keep plus 2, attack and defense plus 20%, Dragon Ball Heroes category allies, attack and defense plus 20%. So basically, he's giving Dragon Ball Heroes uh, keep plus 2 and attack and defense plus 40%, so very, very good support, um, launching potentially up to 4 supers, so that's pretty nice, and of course, the 30% damage reduction within the same turn if you launch uh, at least 3 supers, which... It's not going to happen all the time, but if you launch like two supers, that's still 20% damage reduction. So that's going to help a little bit with his defense. And of course, with each super, he's building that defense for that turn at least on a super attack, right? So um, he's not going to be like an amazing tank, but he should be decent defensively. And of course, the multiple supers will make him hit pretty hard as well. And then uh, the support is awesome. So just for the support alone, I think he's probably worth running on all your Dragon Ball Heroes teams. And uh, stats, Holy Extremes The Awakened, Rainbow Status, 16,772 HP, 17,955 attack, and 11,351 defense. Um, these numbers are basically, like for all three of them so far, the numbers are basically equivalent to like a Rainbow Dokkan Fest unit without an Extremes The Awakened, that is. So still lower than like a Dokkan Fest EZA, but... Very good stats overall. Really good attack, really good defense. No complaints for me, right? So uh, let's move on now to the Great Saiyan Man 3, which has been getting a lot of attention because apparently people think he's pretty busted. Uh, I haven't seen his details yet, so we'll see. Leader skill, super class, key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 100%. Super attack, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes immense damage and raises super class allies attack by 30% for one turn, not bad. Uh, passive, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 130%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30%, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 3% per time traveler's category ally on the team. Defense minus 30% within the same turn after receiving an attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10%, with each attack received up to 30% damage received from normal attacks, minus 30%, and counters with tremendous power. Okay, so, compared to before the EZA, oh yeah, that's a big difference. Okay, so before he was getting 17%, right, with each time travelers, now he's getting 30%, and he's also getting this on top of that, and, um, yeah, he's looking really, really good. He's looking really, really good because before his problem was like, he had the counters, but he was actually, you know, not great at tanking the hits. So he would do a lot of damage back, but also take a crap load of damage, right? But now he's getting the 30% damage reduction from normals, which is going to help him a lot. And uh, of course, counters, as you guys know, is a very busted mechanic in this game. So uh, this dude is going to be dealing out some pretty wild damage like cumulatively you know maybe a super attack is not going to look that impressive but once you add up like all the damage he's doing from the counters uh he's going to be a really hard hitting unit that's for sure and it's nice to see that he's going to be getting a lot of defense now um yeah i like it i like it that is the tech great say man 3 uh stats 17,821 HP, 16,669 attack, and 12,083 defense. That's a lot of defense. Over 12k defense is is a lot. Okay, from there, we have the Supreme Kai of Time. Leader skill is Dragon Ball Heroes, or Super Attack, key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 130%. Uh, super Attack massively raises attack and defense for one turn. It causes supreme damage and seals Super Attack. And passive is attack and defense plus 120%, all allies keep plus 3, attack and defense plus 40%, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 12%, a great chance of an additional attack plus 12%. For all allies, great chance of additional defense plus 12% for all allies, recovers 12% HP at the end of the turn in which an attack was received. That's crazy. Yo, that's crazy, because... He's already giving Q plus 3 attack and defense plus 40% and a 12% crit chance. So, in theory, she can give you Q plus 3 attack and defense plus 52% if both sides of her passive proc, which 
it's 70 percent for each so it's not that uncommon to get both right so she's gonna be one of the best supports in the game man she's gonna be one of the best all types support in the entire game that's awesome and uh stats 19,005 hp 16,671 attack 11,839 defense so that is the tech supreme kai of time uh moving on to uh fizz super saiyan cumber slash giant ape cumber leader skill extreme class key plus three hp attack and defense plus 100 percent super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage and greatly lowers attack and defense passive key plus two Attack and defense plus 200% plus an additional defense plus 50% within the same turn after receiving an attack. High chance of stunning superclass enemies after receiving an attack plus an additional attack plus 50% and performs a critical hit when the target enemy is stunned. Nice. Uh, turns into giant ape when conditions are met. And uh, the conditions are turns into giant ape when HP is 50% or less once only. And, you know, as far as the giant ape transformation goes, it should be about the same. Oh, the attack actually changes. So, uh, the super attack now greatly raises attack temporarily, causes destructive damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And the passive is key plus three as opposed to key plus two. But basically, it's, uh, you know, kind of the same thing where you're uh, invulnerable in this form and then you transform back after, I believe, one turn. It should be a one turn transformation if i remember correctly and yeah Cumber looks pretty good um his kit is honestly a little boring if i gotta be honest um i do like the fact that he you know stuns super class enemies that attack him he is quite good for super battle road uh, for that reason and yeah yeah i like what i see man good extremes awakening for the cumber his stats are 15,478 HP, 18,337 attack, that's crazy, and 11,021 defense. So there's the Cumber, now let's talk about this Cialis guy, leader skill, all types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 80%, super attack, raises defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and greatly lowers defense, and passive is key plus 1, attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional attack and defense, plus 100% when performing a super attack. Artificial life forms category, uh, allies, key plus one. Attack and defense plus 20%. Time travelers category, allies, key plus one. Attack and defense plus 20%. High chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, and fuses when conditions are met. And the fusion conditions are fuse with arms, third form, starting from the fifth turn from start of battle. So unfortunately, it looks like they didn't actually change the condition which is normal but five turns is still quite a bit in my opinion so um yeah that's unfortunate but still um you know it's to be expected because once again they usually don't change transformation conditions with extremes awakenings so the fused sealus cialis uh, super attack raises defense for one turn it causes immense damage and massively lowers defense passive key plus three Attack and defense plus 120% plus an additional attack and defense plus 120% when performing a super attack plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack performed up to 30% performs a critical hit when the target enemy is in attack down or defense down status launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack and links wise or sorry uh, stats wise 17,946 HP, 18,427 attack, that's a lot of attack, and 9,623 defense, which is actually a little low. It's a little low, but not terrible. So that is the Cialis, guys. Um, yeah, that's a that's a huge change from before. I didn't realize his passive before the Extreme Z Awakening was that low, honestly. Yeah, so let's move on to the last unit now. It's the Int Super Fu. Uh, leader skill is Dragon Ball Heroes category, key plus 4. HP attack and defense plus 150%. Super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. Causes immense damage and seals super attack. And passive is attack and defense plus 150% when performing a super attack. Key plus 1 up to key plus 5. Attack and defense plus 10% up to 50% and chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks plus 10% up to 50% per time travelers category ally. 
on the team. Plus an additional attack and defense plus sorry, plus an additional attack plus 50% when HP is 50% or less, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% within the same turn after evading an attack. Overall, very solid. Good attack buff, uh, buff good defense buff. 50% uh, chance to dodge is also... Wait, is it 50%? Yes, 50% chance to dodge with a full Time Traveler's team is also really good to have, right? And... Uh, yeah, great Extremes the Awakening, not much else to say about it. Uh, let's talk about the stats here, actually. 17,590 HP, 18,113 attack, and 10,443 defense. Um, a lot of these guys, I think, are going to be on par with, like, some recent Dokkan Fest releases. Honestly, like, they're really, really powerful. I would not sleep on these guys. If you have any of them, then definitely do the Extremes the Awakening and, uh... This Dragon Ball Heroes team, man, just keeps becoming more and more broken, you know, like, it's been good for a while. The Heroes team has been good for a while, but now with, like, all these new Extreme Z Awakenings, with, like, all the new units we're getting, it's just getting crazier and crazier. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I love Heroes celebrations because it just feels like a breath of fresh air, honestly. Um injected into Dokkan, and uh, it's always a good time. It's always a fun time to uh, play this game. So I'm excited, guys. Everything starts in roughly 12-ish hours from now, and uh, I should be live when all this stuff drops on the channel uh, to do some grinding for the new events, to do some summons, all that good stuff. So make sure you guys tune in if you can. And uh, that's it, guys. That's going to be the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Uh, of course, sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.